Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Um, as promised, I have finally, I think, finished. I'm adding stuff. I'm still adding stuff to it, but this is a very nice kit that I'm really excited about. It took me a long time to put together, but I think you're going to like it. So I hope my lighting's okay, and um, I've had half a cup of coffee. So here we go. Okay, with this kit, everybody gets, they're all going to be slightly different, of course, because the book pages are a little different. Um, the stamps are going to be a little bit different, but everybody gets two postage stamps. Um, some of them are vintage, some are not. And everyone will get a full unopened package of this um, seam binding lace or seam tape lace of various different colors. Um, this one just happens to be green that I grabbed for this kit. You will get one of my handmade altered paper clips backed on music book page. And they're all different too. Some of them have a button, some don't. And you also get one of my handmade um, envelopes with the floral uh, stamp on them and um, the lace and the usual on music book page and some buttons all of them have buttons on them and you will get they may not all be on a card because I'm, I'm limited to, to the ones that I have on the cards but I'm if I have one um, that has maybe one button on it I may just throw it in there anyway and then add some loose buttons with it but this one happens to have quite a few on it so I picked this one um, to film so that's got a pretty very vintage and then I, I uh, took a couple of cues from Brooke, uh, recreations by Brooke, and I fiddled around and I made my own tabs out of some uh, different floral and uh, Tim Holtz um, scrapbook paper. And it's uh, single-sided. This one happens to be double-sided. And then I'm going to punch some uh, floral. This one's um, embossed. I'm going to punch some floral um, scalped edge circles and put in there too, and maybe one or two. And oh, hi Brooke. And then two playing cards. These are vintage. These, oh, they're both kings. I didn't even realize I picked both kings. And I think Selena from Amore Fabrics will uh, recognize this one. I got a whole stack of those from her about a year ago. So there's that. And then I had a bunch of these um, Paris tags, and I love them, so I'm going to share my stash. And each kit will have one of these. Some of them have scallop edges, and some of them are round, but they're, they're all really pretty like this. And then this is a tag. And then this was um, some crinkly ribbon that is so much fun. I, what I do is I'll, I'll sew it like that to the edge of a page in a journal and it just, it's just lovely crinkly. And uh, Diane Shaw, I think, uh, my old barn door, Shawcraft one, um, Diane, I think you will recognize this from your uh, lovely friend's sale in Florida that you did, that live sale. I got this in that bunch and I love it. I've been using it ever since. And then you'll get three doilies. There's this beautiful round one. And then, oh, this one has two white ones. A, a white heart and a red heart. And I'll just leave that one in there for now. And you'll get some fabric squares. I didn't measure them, I just cut them. I think they're at least three inches. And you'll get a an embroidered square. And then uh, a couple of pieces. I got these from Diane, too. Um, a couple of small pieces of wallpaper, vintage wallpaper that I cut. And you'll get a guest check. And you'll get these two little two little bags. This one's glassine and this one's paper. And you'll get this uh, six 
I think it's six by six um, piece of floral cardstock. And I'm not sure what this is, but it it feels it's thicker and it feels like fabric, but it's not. And I had a whole roll of it, and I got it. Um, I can't remember where I got it, but I thought I'd put a piece of that in each kit too. And then you have a floral napkin. The whole napkin. I didn't separate the pages. And oh, here's another one. Two. Two floral napkins. One large, one small. And then this is a piece of this beautiful tissue paper. It's not a whole piece, but it's, it's a pretty good sized piece. And it's got a scalloped edge on it. It's beautiful. I can't I saved one for me, so I can't wait to decoupage that onto something. And then you'll get two pages out of my, um, I think this is Better Homes and Garden. And they, they both open up like that. They're very, they're all very pretty like that, different, maybe different colors. And then you'll get two pages out of a vintage, um, this is a floral uh, botanical book, greenhouse book, that one is. And I have a, a full Edith Holden page for each one. And you'll get two, uh, this one, I like the font on this, so I just included a page that didn't have a picture on it, and plus this one that will have a picture on it. They're all different. I like I liked it because each paragraph, each main paragraph started with a, a colored letter. I thought it was really cool, really cool old book. And then I bought this typewriter book and you'll get a page, maybe two of it. It's just kinda, kinda cool, the typewriter font. And then um, a page out of this uh, stamp book, stamp collecting book page. Some of them have stamps on them and some of them don't. This one doesn't. And you'll get a, a page of this large uh, music book paper from um, this beautiful old book. And it's, 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 you don't have to coffee dye it at all. It's beautifully um, aged on the edge. I don't know if you can see that. probably can't see it very well. And you get two more pages from a botanical book. And this is a pretty old book. I mean, it's I think it's 1980s, I would think. But they're beautiful. And then this book, this book was hard to find. I saw this on um, Tracy Fox, her channel. Um, can't remember the name of it, but look at all that fussy cutting that you can do. And she she cuts these up and makes tags out of them. I did make a few tags out of this book, but it's every single page in this book is like this. Let me see if I can grab the book. This is it. Um, it's the new concise British flora, and the cover is beautiful. And I think I got this off uh, thriftbooks.com. But all of the pages in this book, you see where I've torn some out, all of them. And there's there's not, no color pages, flower pages on the back, so you don't feel guilty about trying to pick which page, which side of the page to cut up, you know. And there's some berries. So, yeah, this book, I highly recommend that you get it. I think I got this one for less than $10, but they are hard to find, so do some searching. It's worth it. Okay, and then I have down. We're down to the. Um, I'm going to do the paper first. I, you know, coffee dyed this paper. It's a. It's a index card, craft paper index card. And this, I don't know if you can see the blades of grass here, but this was some um, stationery that I had. That had a watermark on it, and I coffee dyed that get one piece of that and then you get um, this isn't an old ledger book but 
I thought it was interesting. It had a lot of lines on it, and it looked different. And I left the the holes on the side of it to give it some character. But as you can see, I copy dyed that too. And here is a piece of ledger paper. And this one, I copy dyed it, and I was experimenting with my glimmer mist. And so it's got some. You can't see it because it's kind of dark in here today. But uh, it's got some shimmer to it. And then you get a piece of, um, this is legal size paper that I coffee dyed. Um, I may add another, of course I've got to stop somewhere, but I may add a couple more pages of just regular uh, letter size coffee dyed paper. And then this, these are just some Avery labels that I had a bunch of, so I'm just going to put one of those in there too. And then we have the lace ribbon uh, pack. You have this beautiful, um, it's a pink eyelet lace, and then you have this, a coffee dyed, some of this is coffee dyed, some of it's not, and it's just, uh, it's not, it's not real crocheted lace, but it's, uh, it's really cute, and I like to use it. And then each one will have, these all might be, different because I ran out and I had to variegate it but this one um, is a floral trim and then this one on the bottom is it's like a paper paper um, ribbon but it's really pretty and then it, I have this rose um, This rose trim that I found. Uh, I have a tan color and then I have the pink. This one happens to be pink. And then I have some eyelash trim, some variegated eyelash trim on here. And it's, I just found these um, paint chips, I think you call them from the hardware store. Anyway, and the first, the first five to order, these were um, hand crocheted hankies by my 90 year old mother. Um, the first five that order will get one of these, and they're beautiful. They're, these are all the same. They're all purple. And then I've made my own um, stickers with my Cricut machine, and uh, yeah, so this I got the idea from Brooke also. Thanks, Brooke. Um, I'm having fun with this. So they're all um, kind of... Uh, sayings that I like and that I found and just kind of played with. So I hope you enjoy each one gets one of these also. Um, yeah, so enjoy this pack and thanks for stopping by. And if, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Um, I've, we're getting pretty close to 200 subscribers, so I'll be doing a giveaway. I'm not sure what I'm going to give away yet, but it may be a, maybe a floral book. Who knows? Um, anyway, I'll see you soon. And these will be available in my shop. Um, I think I'm going to charge $22 for them. So, um, I hope you like them. Thanks.